Hello and welcome. Do you feel making tax invoices from tally a difficult task? Are you getting confused when you try to generate one from tally? If yes, today let me break this down for you. Even if you haven't tried this or if you want to learn this in a simple language, watch this video. I am sure at the end you will find generating tax invoices from tally no more difficult or confusing. This is the invoice that I have generated using tally plan. I will explain how exactly I have done this. First let us configure automatic numbering of invoices. Then we will create a tax invoice in tally and in the end we will print and view the invoice. So let's begin. From gateway of tally, select alter, select voucher type, select sales, scroll down to use advanced configuration and select yes. In the starting number field, enter the number with which you wish to start the invoice. The default value would be 1, let us leave it as it is. Enter the width of the number, here I have set it as 3. If you wish to prefill the invoice number with 0, enter yes under prefill with 0 field. Under restart numbering column, under applicable from. Select the date from which you wish to restart the number of the invoice. Here I have entered it as 1st April 21. Under starting number field, enter the number to be restarted. In particulars field, under periodicity, there are 5 options. If you wish to restart the number every day, select daily. Monthly, if you wish to restart once in a month. If you do not want to restart the number, select never. To restart the invoice number once in a week, select weekly. And to restart the invoice once in a year, select yearly. Here I have selected yearly. Under prefix details column, we can set the prefix to be included with the invoice number. Under applicable from, enter the date from which you wish to configure. Here I have entered 1st April 21. Under particulars field, enter the prefix to be included. Usually prefix can be financial year, name of the organization, words like GST sales, GST service, etc. Here I have selected financial year as the prefix. Similarly under suffix details, if you wish to include suffix, you may configure the same. Here I have not included any suffix. So let's now see for this configuration, what is the format of the invoice number that would be auto generated. It would be obviously in the order prefix, starting number and suffix. In our case prefix is 202122. Starting number is 001 because width has been set as 3 and prefill with 0 is set to yes. If you set the width as 2 and prefill with 0 as yes, then instead of 001, the starting number would be 01. No suffix has been included here. So the first invoice number that would be automatically generated in this case is 2021220001. Press enter and accept the configuration. If you wish to print the invoice after saving, select yes under print voucher after saving. Enter the title to be printed on the invoice. Here I have entered tax invoice. If you wish to print bank details on the invoice, select the bank under default bank field. Here I have selected not applicable. Enter the jurisdiction under default jurisdiction field. Here I have entered Bengaluru. Press yes and accept the voucher type alteration. From gateway of tally, select vouchers, click on sales, click on change mode and select item invoice. If you notice the invoice number is automatically generated, click on date and enter the date of invoice. In the party account name, enter name of the customer. Here I have selected XYZ enterprises. Let's press control enter and check the configuration of this customer account. XYZ enterprises is the name. Under sundry debtors, maintain balances bill by bill is set to yes. In the mailing details section, under address field, enter the address of the customer, enter the state, enter the PIN code. In tax registration details section, enter the PAN of the customer. Select regular under registration type if the customer is a GST registered person. Enter valid GSTIN of the customer, press enter and accept. In the dispatch details screen, under delivery note field, if you wish to enter delivery note details, click on new number and enter the details of the delivery note. Here I have selected not applicable. 
enter the courier tracking number and the dispatch doc number field, enter the name of the courier in dispatch through field, enter the destination, other details like LR, RR number, motor vehicle number, etc. can be entered if you wish to. Press enter, press control A to accept party details, select sales ledger, select name of the item that is sold, press enter. If you wish to enter tracking number, select the option new number and enter the tracking number. Here I have selected not applicable. Enter the quantity, rate, amount would be automatically calculated. Select end of list, press enter. Let's now create the account transportation charges. For this click on create. Transportation charges is the name under indirect incomes. Type of ledger is set to not applicable. Is GST applicable? Select not applicable. Include in accessible value calculation for select GST. Select goods in the field appropriate to. Method of calculation would be based on value. Press enter and accept creation. We have now created transportation charges account. To enter transportation charges, we have two options. First option is to enter the percentage and the amount would be automatically calculated. The second option would be to directly enter the value in the amount field. Press enter and select the tax ledger central GST. Tax amount would be automatically computed. Press enter and select state GST account. Again the tax amount is automatically calculated. If you would like to learn how to create sales ledger which is sales local at 18%, name of the item, mobile phone and tax ledgers, central GST and state GST. Watch my earlier video, the link of which has been given above. Press enter, press control A to accept bill wise details. Press yes to accept creation of tax invoice. Click on print and select configuration. In the printer settings under printer field, Select the name of the printer. Here I have selected Microsoft Print to PDF. If you wish to preview the invoice we have just created, select yes. In the field set preview as default. In the header information section, set the top margin. If you wish to include logo of your organization on the invoice, under company details, in the include company logo field, select yes. Enter the path of the file, enter the file name. Ensure that the logo file is in BMP or JPEG file format and the file size is 96 pixels in width by 80 pixels in height. Press enter, click on configure. In the print configuration screen, under list of configurations, various details relating to the tax invoice can be configured. If I try to explain each of these options, this video would become lengthy. So let me go through it in brief. First is the voucher detail section. If you would like to add additional description for stock item or additional description for ledgers or if you would like to show bill wise details on the invoice, if you would like to show narration etc. We can configure accordingly under voucher details section. The next section is statutory details. Under statutory details, you can configure options to show rate of duty, item wise GST details, GST rate, HSN, SSE etc. And the header information field, you can set the title of the invoice. If you want to optimize printing to save paper, you can choose options for it. Under company details section, you may choose to select options that you would like to include while printing the tax invoice. In the party details section, details relating to the customer like uh, customers GST, place of supply, consignee details etc. can be configured. Purchase order and dispatch related information can be configured under order and dispatch details section. You can configure required information under footer information. Let's now move to the last section printer settings. Select number of copies. In the number of copies field enter 4. Select all for type of copy. In the print transporter copy field press enter and select yes. Why 4 copies? The first copy is original for recipient that is the one for the customer. The second one is duplicate for transporter. The third one is triplicate for supplier that is your copy. And the fourth copy is the extra copy. Usually courier guys ask for additional copies. So the extra copies can be used for that purpose. 
press escape to go back to the previous menu. Let's click on preview to view the tax invoice we have just created on configure. This is the preview of the tax invoice. The first copy is original for recipient. Second copy is duplicate for transporter. Third copy is duplicate for supplier. And the fourth copy is extra copy. If you would like to zoom in the details, click on zoom. Press escape. If you would like to print the invoice, you can do so by selecting the option print. If you miss that, alternatively you can go back and select print and print the invoice from this screen too. This is the invoice we have just created. Did you find this video helpful? Let me know in the comment section. For more videos on GST, income tax, tally etc. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit the bell icon if you wish to be notified. Thank you.